Hi everyone, as you can see, I'll be doing a review on all of this new Pena Pena in the Velvet AD collection. So this is the new reformulated version, the 2019 version. As you know previously, they have 23 of the older shades, so stay tuned for the end because I'll be showing you like comparison stuff. But for now, let's just talk about this one. You can see the packaging, they have obviously changed it. It gives you like a matte finish and what I love about this is that it shows you the number at the front, which means you don't really need to look at the bottom to find the number. It's right there, it's in bold, it's in bright colors and I love that the color inside matches to the packaging outside. I also noticed that the applicator has changed as well into this pointy applicator which I personally prefer because it just helps to define my lips really well which I'll show you guys application really soon but I just love how this just make the definition of my lips much more sharper and nicer Here's a quick comparison of how it looks like between the current new one and the old one. You can see the packaging is completely different and I pre personally prefer the newer one. Applicator as well, completely different. The old one is much more rounder and thinner and much more longer. But the new one is much more sharper, give you like a edgy look, look definition, if that makes sense. But in regards of the texture, the new one is much more thicker, much more pigmented and really moisturizing as well. And here I'm just showing you how I applied the gradation. I actually have to use my finger to smudge it out because of the thickness of this tin. But however, I actually really like it. Somehow it doesn't feel moussey, it just feels thick and moisturizing and it's really comfy on the lips. I actually like this new formula better than the previous one, even though I already like the previous one more. And as you can see, this is how I applied with the new application and honestly look it defined my top lip so nicely I just love it so much even the longevity as well if this one actually lasts up to seven hours before it start fading off so this is so much better compared to the old one the old one lasts only about four to five hours so the first shade I call this like a red shade but also a deep brown undertone which I really personally really like I really like this color but just a heads up this collection contains a lot of red shades like or like red undertone I wish they could have open up more variety but we'll talk about that later on but anyway second shade this one is the Caleb Deep Rose which they have kept from the previous collection I'm pretty sure so out of this they have actually kept three of the previous colors and number two Caleb Deep Rose is such a beautiful warm but also light pink coral shade which I love now number three this is like a bright red color like for me this is more like a strawberry red but also for some people this is like a pinky muted deep red as well which I personally do like it as well I've used this a few times now next is number four and this one personally I really like this a lot and this is like a raspberry red color but also a hint of like a bright coral pink shade underneath as well but but again, I actually wish it looks like the model because I like what the model was wearing compared to my lips. But yeah, number five, this one, I love, love, love this shade. This I personally think is like a warm orange corally shade. It's so beautiful. It doesn't look too bright. It looks... I don't know it just looks so sweet it looks so warm it looks peachy it looks curly I just love it it's just pretty pretty color next number six this is an orangey red for me which I personally do like but this one do stain quite a bit and it gives you like an orange stain however when you apply it it looks like a warm deep dark orangey shade but also obviously a red undertone as well but personally I do like it next is number seven and this one again is another bright orangey shade and this one has like a red undertone to it as well and yeah nothing special about this but yeah girlish red as you can see a lot of red colors now the next shade is number eight and this was in the previous collection as well and they obviously have kept it because of how popular it is this is much more of a cool tone red color um 
that's all I can say but it is a pretty red color so yeah in regards of you know the um, moisture and stuff like that definitely very comforting and doesn't show any of my dry patches now next is number nine and I love this color because I thought this is a unique shade this is such a beautiful neon pink however it does fit into like a pink stain like a pretty bad pink stain but if you can bear with that why not but I love that color last is also another orangey shade red shade but for me i personally like this more compared to the other orange shade in this collection because i feel like this is leaning towards more of the orange side rather than the red side if that makes sense but i personally do like it so overall i actually am impressed with all of these colors i just wish that you know there are other colors that they will be adding which personally i do think they will because you know the previous collection do contain 23 shades and this time they have released 10 shades and you can see all of the red are actually very different the reason why i put it like this is so that you guys can see the differences but honestly i really like the colors i like the formula and the staining wise personally i think that this one doesn't stain as much as the previous collection even though on this close up here you can see that it does stain but trust me this doesn't stain as much as the old collection now i'm sure this is the part you guys have been waiting for so they have kept three of the previous colors from the previous collection and have put it in the new collection which are number seven eight and number two so soon i'll be showing you guys a close-up swatches of the colors side by side and so the one that is a new collection is bracket in ad and the rest are you know the old collections i will also be showing you guys side by side of colors that i thought are similar so i will come back once the close-up is finished Overall, I'm actually very happy with this new collection. I feel like they have revamped it really well and formulated the texture much more nicer and comforting and way, way more pigmented. I don't know how they did it, but they did it. So the rating for this is definitely pretty high. Longevity, again, I say it lasts up to seven hours. Pigmentation, four out of five, because I wish that they would have more other colors. But somehow, these colors are actually much more similar to the model compared to the previous collection. Moisture is definitely much more comforting, very comfortable to wear. So definitely recommend for those who have dry lips and price is still pretty affordable. So I hope you guys give this a try and let me know if you guys want to see comparisons or anything. So put it down in the comment box below and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.